Salutations, I'm Justin Mike, and welcome back to Tracks the Train Set game. I have started building my own world again. It's completely different from the one before, and by completely different, I mean... Some... the structures are mainly different, that's the... Salutations, I'm just a Mike, and welcome back to Tracks the Train Set Game. <laughs> I started construction on my own world, and it's it's relatively different. Uh, I did keep some things the same, like you'll notice this general structure is uh, sort of the outline of the world. That's where the main pathing is, that way it, it has enough turns for you to quickly turn around. It's kind of the kind of the idea of highways and stuff, how you've got the medians in between and then you've got those inner curved sections. I figure I should do that with my tracks because I figured that out last time that that's the best way to really handle it, in my opinion. I, I haven't tried anything else yet, so I also haven't seen people trying anything else. Uh, but I made this entire little town as a hospital. Uh, it has a pub on the other side, but mainly I, I'm pretty happy with the effect the buildings give off. Okay, I'm not happy with the effect the buildings give off, necessarily. It all just looks like so much roof. Uh, but the main draw, what I was... The first idea I had when I was coming into this was not the town. Which is barren on the backside. Maybe I should address that? I, I could do some interesting stuff back there, I think. But no, it's uh, from when I noticed these mountain pieces. I, I never really used them before. I mean, I did in the passengers one when I was just went haywire friggin' decorating everything, um, which was fun. I loved it. It all came out pretty lovely. Although uh, my my ground blocks could really be placed better, it ended up being still very blocky. Um, but we have this giant quarry above ground this time because I keep putting them underground for some reason it's not safe to dig out a bunch of rocks underground and we've got the business station for the for the administrators who who work at this construction site making sure all the proper paperwork is done and everything and then we've got the regular station I wanted them to both go into the same station but they don't so but we got the regular station that that they're not getting off at. This is an issue that I encountered while testing it. I, I need to look into how to report bugs, which brings me to my next point. If I encounter a bug while playing, you guys don't have to report it. I'll report it because I know when I played and who knows how long it'll take this video to actually be uploaded. Like, seven hours. <laughs> So it's the same day, but still, it's important for like the players to report the bugs because sometimes it does take longer to get videos done. Uh, but other than that, I've got this pickup with a sign way too close to the station. Um, I have nothing to pick up with right now though, so unless it's pouring rocks on the construction workers. Um, Got a fleet of cranes in case the ones that are currently active go out. Bunch of rocks. I could have rotated them more, and I definitely should have turned down the rotation snap in order to, like, get more variation in the rocks. And I should have definitely gone into the color and made some look more like coal, like I did uh, in, the, in the Passengers world. But, yeah. I'm also thinking of adding a little grassy foothill at the bottom of this, using the... The grass terrain blocks but other than that this is this is the world so far uh, I didn't expect this to be such a short video as you can see I've been recording five minutes so we five usable minutes closer to five and a half minutes so took me half a minute to launch the game Trey okay gotta get it out of my system every so often um, but yeah.
Yeah, that's too much roof. Huh. I wonder... I wonder if... Oh, the motor's here. No? Did I change that? Good. Okay. Yeah, the hospital's in front of the building over here. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see about... Because then I can move the street closer to the buildings. So we just drop small house in front of the tall houses. Oh, there's a bike there. That looks a little better. I like that, I like that. And I can actually use these as like, throw down a bakery here. No, I didn't mean to undo the bakery. No, I don't want a toy shop. This looks like the kind of place where a toy shop would be. Crazy. Okay. I got the toy shop, candy shop, fancy restaurant, coffee shop, post office pub. Uh, I mean, you need groceries. So, so you got food, you got the pub, because from what I understand, a lot of miners are, are drinkers. Not miners, is in young people. I mean, I don't know about a bunch of young people. I'm technically a young person, but <laughs> here I go on spouting technicalities again. Uh, we got the hospital. I, I like that effect better. Wondering if maybe then we have to figure out what to do with the backside to make it less dull. Uh huh. Well, we do need a. You're not the post office. Oh, ho ho. The thumbnail for the barber shop is the post office. That's why I keep getting confused. Oh, that's interesting. That's not good. That's that's bad. Oh. An interesting discovery for sure though. Throw these over the medium buildings. And we can just throw the medium buildings. Right around here. Small buildings. Make sure there's some variation. Well, that's that's definitely more interesting. A big question I, I've had is how do they get from over here to over there since there's no station in the town? I'm thinking helicopters, but I don't, I don't want to clutter this place up too much. It, it, it makes sense to me already that it's just cranes and rocks, and then you got the two buildings, and then that, yeah. I mean, they might need an outhouse, but I cannot assist them with that because there is no outhouse in the game, and that is not me complaining. About the lack of outhouse in the game, I am perfectly fine with the game lacking outhouses. Damn, missed the turn. Is it just the stations that wind up up here? Is there something wrong with the logic of them? Because it's really bothering me, because I can't delete the cars without. Oh, where was it? Construction? Passengers. Had a total brain fart moment there. Okay. Alright, let's crank this up to full speed. The arrow doesn't appear to be disappearing or getting... Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's, it's still on top of the red line, so that's good. It's also not drifting out of place necessarily, although it tends to when you reach ludicrous speeds. Yes, that is a Spaceballs reference. Alright. Now the 
the alleyway could use some intrigue. Oh, but that's much nicer to look at than just bare, bare-backed buildings. Oh, the little engine I could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. The power of positive thinking. How are you guys doing? You good? I wonder if it's with all the passengers or just with them. I'll have to experiment more on my own time, but yeah. You always take the left here. If you don't, you end up going backwards through this area and it don't make much sense. Whip around the corner. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. I'm thinking about adding a street over here, too. I also think that maybe I should get rid of this. thought about like having a building sticking up between this loopy I guess it would work back here uh yeah it would have oh well I I think that'll have to do it for this video if you have suggestions based on any of the DLC since I own both of the current DLC uh any suggestions on what you think I should add to my little world I will greatly, I will take it into consideration. It will be greatly appreciated because I, I personally run out of ideas pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so if you got some ideas of what, what I should add to my world, uh, a little bit, maybe, maybe even like environmental features, like it could have a, a forest. I so generic i would love to what's the issue could it have to do with altitude maybe i'm very distracted by this um but yeah suggestions are greatly appreciated this is just what i had off the top of my head and uh a train depot because it's always important to have a train depot where else would the trains be starting from some random island with a bunch of roundabouts <laughs> how wild um for those of you that didn't get the joke i was a call back to my old world when i didn't really have a train starting point and i had already fleshed out a lot of the island so i just made a separate island for them with a tunnel that connected them Led to some complications with my um my movement efficiency system. I guess that's what I'm calling it. The weird hot, the weird uh street thing with the medians in between. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Is it all of them? Okay, interesting. I have no idea what could actually be causing that, unlike the arrow that disappears. Because it, it, the arrow just kind of sinks under the layers of the other graphics. I don't know what it's caused by, but I know that that is what's happening. So, there, there, it gives some hint of where to start looking in the program for, for maybe how to fix it, but... Other than that, I just could be altitude, it could be that region of the map, it could be the things I've put around it at this point. But even when it was just a, a passenger station, it didn't work appropriately when I had it up there during testing. <sighs> These are all just random thoughts off the top of my head, so. I don't know if it's conflict with any of the DLC pieces either, although the pieces shouldn't really be interacting with it because the only piece that I think that I have is the walkway. 
Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves and that tomorrow's another day. I hope to see you then. Bye! Bye.